Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mariana Langston, a nutrition educator with the Southern University Ag Center SNAP Ed Nutrition Program, serving Union and Morehouse Parishes. Today's topic is kid friendly fruits and vegetables. Getting children to eat fruits and vegetables can be a challenging thing. When trying to get children to eat more, make them more kid friendly. Making them more kid friendly can be very easy. The information that we have in our presentation today will give you a few ideas and tips on how to do that. However, do not limit yourself to just these ideas. Be creative and come up with ways to make things more fun and encourage the children to enjoy the fruits and vegetables. Getting them involved. Let them help choose a new fruit or vegetable to try when grocery shop. Have them select a new item that they've never tried before or even get them to try a new color of fruit or vegetable. One example would be apples. If they normally choose red apples, encourage them to pick yellow or green to try a new flavor. Also, try to get them to pick a new vegetable or fruit that has a different shape than they would normally choose. Try to get them to choose the different colors or maybe make a game out of it and this time at the grocery store pick something yellow. Next time you could pick something green. Just be creative when doing that. Visit farmers markets and fruit orchards. Children may view trying that new item as part of the adventure. Many of the fruit orchards have you pick options and interactive activities that include those fruits and vegetables. Have them choose a fruit or vegetable that you're gonna serve as part of the meal or snack. Like for dinner, give them a choice. Would you rather have corn or peas? Or at snack time, ask them if they would rather have grapes or an apple. And let them help you prepare items for the meals and snacks. Be sure to give them age appropriate tasks, such as smaller children can help tear lettuce for a salad or help to wash items to serve. Be positive. Smile when you're eating those fruits and vegetables. This shows children that you actually enjoy eating your fruits and vegetables. Do not force them or punish them if they do not eat the food. Praise them when they eat a new fruit or vegetable, even if it's just only a bite. You could say something like, that's great. You tried a bite of that strawberry. Even the smallest praise will help encourage them to try more fruits and vegetables. Allow them to feel or smell of the item. Then have them tell you about it. Let them tell you what it feels like or how it smells. Serving tips. Offer a new item paired with a food that they already like. Perhaps children like peaches, you might could try pairing a different fruit with it. Just be creative and this will have them maybe try the new item since it's with something that they already like. Have the fruits and vegetables already peeled and sliced. This will allow them to grab them for a snack and not have to wait for the item to be prepared. Offer a variety of items. Try different textures and flavors and colors. Use different ones like fresh, frozen, or you could even do dried as part of a trail mix. Serve different colors and types of fruits and vegetables. You can incorporate them as part of another dish. You could use them in smoothies. You could add blueberries to pancakes, or you could even add, make an interesting new item such as getting them to try pumpkin this time of year. You could give them pumpkin patch muffins. Have the items in view so that they can see them. Introduce the new items slowly. Don't add a whole lot of new fruits and vegetables at one time. Try introducing one new item at a time. Start a small vegetable garden. Involve children in selecting the plants you use. There's a large variety available. If you're going to plant tomatoes, let them choose a different color tomato or a smaller tomato. Just look through everything that your local nursery has to offer. Have children help care for those plants and let them help when picking the vegetables when they're ready for harvest. Involving them in this activity gives them a sense of ownership and they're more likely to try. 
Be creative. Give fruits and vegetables creative new names, like we were talking about with the pumpkin patch muffins. You could come up with other creative names or make a game out of letting the children name a particular item. Cut them into fun new shapes. This you can do using cookie cutters. Like if you sliced a watermelon, you could use cookie cutters to cut out creative shapes for them to try those exciting new presentations. Next, the next point, use a creative presentation such as the one we have pictured here. They took and turned bananas, blueberries, and strawberries into fun little owls and then added a few extra berries to the plate. Serve them in a new way. If you normally just present the item as a snack, try serving them with a dip or on top of, for, um, you can add fruit on top of your cereal or you can create a new and fun way of offering that snack, such as with the owls to the side. Serve in fun new containers, such as the one here, or you can even have shapes for this time of year or anything else. Children tend to be more willing to try that new item if it's served in a creative, fun new container. Let them decorate or present the food and then they usually will be more willing to try. Now after learning more about how to make fruits and vegetables more kid friendly, I challenge you to try some of the ideas that we've given you, such as taking them on, you could use an example of you're going to go to the field trip to the farmer's market or to the you pick fruit patch. Don't give up. Children often have to try a food, new food 10 times or more before they decide they like them. Also, try to give it to, you know, incorporate them into the activity of picking the new items. Also keep in mind that sometimes children like certain foods prepared and cooked or some foods raw, such as with snack items like baby carrots or those type items. Just keep trying until you figure out which way they're going to enjoy them the most. Find fun and creative new ways to serve those fruits and vegetables. Don't limit yourself to just a few things. There are lots of ideas out there. You can also try to incorporate seasonal type shapes and figures. Be sure to take our post test at the end of this. And we thank you for joining us today and also make sure to check us out on all of our social media platforms. And please make sure to make those fun fruits and vegetables more fun for your children.